In this video, I'll be showing you how to resolve connection issues when trying to play multi on your Windows computer. So many things can cause connection issues when it comes to playing the game, so that's why the first thing that you want to do is just ensure that one of those issues isn't because there is currently maintenance or issues with the servers when trying to play multi -verses. And the best way of doing this is by going onto the multi Twitter page. I will put the link in the description below where you can check this out and if everything's all good then the next thing that you want to do is just ensure that there are currently no works happening on your internet with your provider. So to check this the best way is by going onto your internet provider's website and then just putting in your address and you should be able to see if there is currently some works going on your network and if there is then this can cause a lot of connection issues, which would explain why you're not able to play multi -verses. So now we've got all that out of the way, the first thing that you want to do is just simply ensure Windows is up to date. And to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, select update and security, and then click the check for updates button. And if Windows does detect any new updates, it will then install them. The next thing you want to do is just ensure you have the latest driver installed for your network card slash adapter. And there are two ways of doing this. The first way is by using device manager, which we can do by right clicking on the start menu icon, go to device manager, and then expand in network adapters, right clicking on your network adapter, and then just select an update driver. And then you need to click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will detect if you have the latest driver installed. But this might not actually be the latest driver, as you can actually go to the manufacturer's website for your network adapter and download a newer driver. I will pop a link in the description below on a video that I've done on how you can update a Realtek network adapter driver if you're not sure on how you can do that. So once you have installed the latest driver for your network adapter slash card, you now need to ensure that your security software, if you have a third party security program installed, is not causing the issue. So a lot of security programs you can put into a passive mode or a game mode. If you have this option, then do that. If you don't, then temporarily disable your security software, launch multi and see if it works. If it does, then you will need to add the game to the exception list. Just keep in mind note that while your security program is disabled, you might be at risk of security threats, so just be very careful. If you're using just Windows Defender Firewall, then we can check that multi does have access by opening up the start menu and then typing in Firewall. You then need to select Windows Defender Firewall. We then need to click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, and you then need to click anywhere in the list and press M on your keyboard, and you then should see multi -verses. If you scroll down slightly, you can see there on my computer, it has a multi and it has a tick under private and public. If you don't see the game in the list, then you need to click on change settings and you then need to go allow another app and then browse for the multi and then select it and then press add and then simply tick the two boxes under private and public. This also goes for if the game is in the list, but it doesn't have a tick then just click on change settings and then tick it. Once you've done that, and if that was the issue, then that should resolve the problem. But if you're still getting connection issues with the game, you want to make sure that you don't have any programs running in the background of your computer that are hogging the network bandwidth on your computer. So close down everything and then launch multi and see if that resolves the issues. If you did have something streaming like music or downloading in the background like a game, then that's going to cause lagging issues within the game and it will also cause the network error messages. So once you've done all that and if that wasn't the issue, then the next thing that we want to do is open up the start menu and type in CMD. You then need to right click on command prompt and go run it as administrator and we then want to type in ipconfig and then space and then you want to do forward slash and then flush DNS. Now you can go ahead and press enter and once you've flushed the DNS on your computer, launch multi again and see if that helped. If it didn't, then the next thing to do is just simply restart your router. There could currently be an issue with your router that's causing the problem with the game, so restart it, give it a couple of minutes until your router's restarted, and then try the game again. Just keep in mind, if anyone is using the internet, 
then just tell them that you're going to restart the router because they will lose internet connection. If restarting the router didn't help, then the next thing that we want to do is right click on the network icon in the bottom right hand corner. You then want to go open network and internet settings. We then need to click on change adapter options. You then need to right click on your network adapter and go to properties. Next, you need to select internet protocol version 4 and go to properties again. And you then need to tick this option here, use the following DNS server. And we're going to use the Cloudflare server. So I will pop the link in the description below to a bit of information about the Cloudflare DNS service. But it is completely free, so all you need to do is just type 1 and then 1, 1 and 1. Once you've done that, press OK and close and launch Multiverses and see if that helped. If it didn't, then you can always remove that by simply right clicking again on the adapter, going to Internet Protocol version 4 and then going back to obtain DNS server address automatically. So once you've done all that and if none of that helped, then the final thing to do is to use a cable if you're using a wireless connection. If you're not able to use a cable, then you could try moving closer to the router. If you are using network adapters in the wall, like the wall plug things, then you could try not to use those as sometimes they can cause issues. However, if you're not using them, then you could try using them. Here's a bit of trial and error when it comes to network wall plugs. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope one of the methods of the video did help you out and you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.